Hello, uh, welcome to the the first ever 2024 PSD tour uh, using you know uh, the artwork of Daniel Torres, and, and the subject matter would be uh, Power Girl. And over the what a few weeks that I've practiced this artist as well as a few variations of Power Girl, her renditions of Power Girl. So uh, yeah, uh, this is my. Uh, <laughs> All of my layers tool and also my my special effects uh, layers here, right here. So I can explain you my thought processes of this one. And uh, to me, to be honest with you, I have this piece right here, the first ever the Power Girl color. I didn't post it in my Instagram because it it felt lackluster. It doesn't felt right, and it doesn't feel uh, looks good. So I have to skip it because uh, the rendering if you see here, the rendering right here is not so good and I tend to not use the usual tool that I use, the lasso tool right here uh, to make the whole thing uh, and using the feather to really uh, capture it. But right now it's, it is what it is, it wasn't the best. The only thing that I got it right after and so far was I, I, uh, on the renders is her hands uh, her crotch area and her belt. I think the I think the legs should be uh, got, uh, gotten better. It doesn't work very well. And to me, I wish <laughs> I wish I could done better. And uh, also, I didn't know how to use. Uh, it didn't render properly her skin pretty well. Her face, or okay, or uh, the the cuts, the gradient cuts here, and also the fade cuts. Uh, didn't mesh very well. I don't know why. But it it was when I started to attempt to recapture my old uh, my old uh, process. So this was basically a practice piece. And uh, the other thing is that I've I've I always wonder how to you know do the cuts. Uh, how to do the highlights here of the of the hair, and I have to do this. And I go, ah, it wasn't it wasn't that particularly good. So for me, I go maybe next time we just leave it at that. Again, the arm so weird, and when you guys go to the to the, the to the abdomen area, it doesn't feel really it's so fucking flat, and it it, it mismatched a lot. So for me, I go it was a total bust. However, I went back. However, another Daniel Torres piece again, Power Girl. This time with a different one. Was this? I had more, far more fun, and once I recaptured my old uh, style again, and this is what uh, I did. However, one flaw that I did not like when I made this piece was the no the nose. There you go. It's so awkward. <laughs> but the render is quite nice. Lack of highlight would be another flaw in this but you know slowly but surely but I learned how to do though properly use my uh, my lasso tool again but also I've used color holds rather than going this I didn't use any color holds but this one I can kind of use it at least to match up all of her uh, necessary lines to the specific darker colors like, like a darker yellow for her hair a darker skin uh, skin lines for the skin and that's what you get and uh, yeah I've excited improvement improvement right over here <laughs> uh, try to properly render and also uh, properly know how to use the uh, lasso tool with the feather I would think about uh, using feather 8 or uh, 5 just to kind of uh, tap it in just uh, not you know, over render the the breast area, but also I have to render here as well in the uh, shoulder part. Although you can't see it that much, but I wish I could, you know, improve upon the the indentation of the shoulder a little bit less feather rather than this it was so prominent. And we go, ah. But even the uh, the mistakes I made ago, it was an improvement. Like. Although I didn't put any uh, 
lighting effects here and there, but it's still an improvement here. The capes are actually quite good now. Uh, I think how I render the the gold here is very weird. Actually, it's super bright, and this one is a go. I don't know what material this is that I just render it gold. And I don't know if this was the accurate portrayal of the of the belt, but oh well. Uh, I'll write it in. I'll put it right then. So uh, yeah, I actually used the shadow, but the funny thing is that I used a shadow layer right here, but I've never used any uh, any layer effects like multiply. It's just normal yellow, a yeah, normal yeah the normal color grad slide here. This was uh, this was the only color I used. It go okay back to the normal rather than there's no. Uh, indentation of another color so that would be it also I tend to use uh, a layer lock uh, lo locking transparent pixels to put on top of it and I have a spare one so that if I make a mistake I could you know sample resample it back pick it back in and uh, color again uh, that's to, to me uh, how, I, how I did it and uh, my process and using um, color dodge, I use a lot of color dodge, by the way, on my uh, on these pieces because uh, it was so familiar to me. I, I might re-explore it back to another piece, but I don't know which piece it is. But uh, another practice, nonetheless. So yeah, uh, this is the uh, <laughs> this is the uh, final image that I I think I just uh, posted in my in my uh, Instagram, but. I would actually enjoy the process of doing this again. So this is the uh, final. Uh, but also I min and also made another and also I think this was the recent post that she made. So uh, this is it. Uh, this is actually a little bit. Pr I'm I'm proud of the rendering right here because uh, I did incorporate back. Uh, uh, restart back all of my work and also the, the nose is not awkward anymore the rendering of the nose I go okay now this is the best improvement I don't know about the hair that I did because I'm pretty sure there was a light coming so downwards right here so I did that so that's the that's the render of the hair the eyes the nose the lips and also the highlights of that the gloves were so-so I think the muscle the mus is that the right word, musculature? I'm gonna use the word muscle, just, just uh, you know, not to sound like a fucking smarmy. So did this, render this, and also I use a proper. Oh wow! I, oh yeah, and I remember, I didn't use any. I used a, uh, a different, a different uh, color, and did not, you know, use any layer special effects render out all the, the shadow, shadowy part of the muscles. And it, I turn it down, the hmm, but only the highlights of this. Uh, yeah, and also try to a little bit over render some of the mus uh, musculature. And uh, this is the result. And it's very hard to do. I go, it's sometimes I, I, I tend to wonder, I tend to switch back from black into white and go, oh, where's my high, where's my, uh, my mid tone and my blacks and my uh, highlights. So I used uh, black and white by using the uh, this right here, and then uh, black and white. And then if uh, to double check where my highlights is, then you go start pointing from from here to here and here, all the way down, and then play it back again if it works. And also all the back uh, back to this one. Oh, the background right here because I've ha I was having trouble with the backgrounds. I don't know what to put right there. It's just ran uh, random colors. It didn't work pretty well. This one's quite okay. Well, at least the image would actually legit pop. This one I actually try to find you know a tropical background. Put some blues at the back, darker, somewhat darker blues, but not to you know over, uh, just to hyper focus on the figure. So for me, you go okay. This is this is it. So, uh, I'm actually quite proud of this one, and uh, all the techniques I ever did, but also I did, I did, you know, uh, put a little, uh, I, 
Yeah, I think... Sorry. I think I actually put it... Uh, the... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry. I actually did the... Damn, I lost my train of thought. But I tend to uh, record this at one time, and I don't use scripts. It's just hear the stream of thoughts, but also sometimes my thought just we just ran out. But this is far more uh, fun to do. But also the thought uh, experiment. I did actually put uh, droplets of water, but it did it did come out very well. It looks so gross. So I had to remove it. I wish I could you know improve on my uh, wet skin blend. And uh, hopefully it, hopefully uh, it can uh, do it again, but properly in a proper design. But also, and also I'm again proud of this work from the rendering. It doesn't feel so, so uh, feel so bland in motors. Uh, there's lights here, uh, uh, formations of the muscles here and there. And also, yeah, it's a very beautiful piece uh, from print. But also, I get to practice this artwork very much often <laughs> so uh, yeah this is my uh, my uh, PSD tour and uh, I hope you stick around for more about this I will try to explain all my process of how I did the whole thing and uh, yeah uh, see you in the next video